Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we are gonna be doing a fun tutorial on a glitter beach tumbler. I love doing my glitter beaches this way. I've been doing it this way for a long time. Um, definitely won't be the only beach tumbler tutorial that we do on this channel, just because there's so many different ways for you to do them and so many looks to try. Uh, I hope you love this tutorial. I'm gonna have all the colors and products listed down in the description box. Of course, there will also be some discounts codes down there for you as well so check that out and let's go ahead and get started all right so here's the base colors we're going to be using for our base layer of paint on the cup and these are all the glitter colors that we'll be using I'll have all these listed and linked down in the description box below. We're gonna start with the deep blue color and we're gonna spray that all along the top. This is gonna be like our skyline of the beach. Next, I'm gonna go in with the seaside color. And when you're trying to blend these colors, you're just gonna do short, quick sprays of color, like short dashes are the strokes that you're gonna be making with your paint. Don't worry about this being perfect. Uh, the colors of glitter that we're gonna be using are so bold. This part really isn't gonna matter too much. It's more so just gonna be kind of a roadmap for where our glitter will go. All right, and then you'll just kind of layer any colors that you wanted to correct if anything got kind of messed up. And then we'll go ahead and let this dry for a few minutes in front of a small space heater and then move on into our epoxy for our epoxy method glitter. I'm only using about one milliliter of epoxy, if that, to cover the whole cup. It'll spread on really easily if your cup is warm to the touch. So for the glitter, I'm just gonna start out with my chunkier colors first with very, very light coverage, and then I'll go in with the finer cuts of those colors to blend. So I started with Athena down there at the bottom and then moving into Head Over Teals. Next, I'm gonna really lightly layer in some Weasley. This is an unnecessary color. You guys don't have to add this in. I just thought it was so pretty that I had to sprinkle it in there somewhere. So I'm just very lightly sprinkling in some Weasley. Next, I'm gonna start out uh, layering the blues with earmuffs. Uh, earmuffs is a gorgeous like blue-green um, color. I just absolutely love it. Um, and it's a little chunkier than the normal finer cuts. So I'm just going around the top really lightly with the earmuffs. And I'm just barely bringing this blue color down into the teal. So don't, don't worry about blending too much yet at this stage as we're laying out the chunkier colors. I'm going to go over that top rim pretty well with Semper Fi. Semper Fi is a beautiful, beautiful, like royal blue. I went pretty heavy around that top rim with the Semper Fi. 
I'm not using Semper Fi to blend really, I'm just using that to get good coverage of blue around the top. For the white wave section, I'm using Parabatai, which is a chunky pearl white. And again, just really lightly putting in a layer of that chunky white. Then we're gonna take Bliss, which is a newer, like high flash white. And I'm gonna go right over that Parabatai with the Bliss, and I'm gonna really try to pull some of it down into this gold. I'm almost using some of the bliss um, to lighten up that gold sand color um, to kind of make it look like a more of a white sand beach. I'm using 10, 12, 13 at the water and wave line there where the teal and the white meet. It's just going to add kind of a nicer transition between the teal and the white. Totally not necessary though. I just thought it looked pretty. <laughs> um, I'm also using Weekend at Bernie's as my finer teal to blend between the blue and the teal. And then I'm going in with Lapis or Lapis. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and I'm using that blue to blend the blue and teal section. So you are going to pull that finer blue Lapis color down into the teal. And then I'm going to really let it rip with this gold member over the sand. So just like I do all of my color blending, I start with the chunky colors as a roadmap, and then I use my finer cuts to blend. And, and I, I think it works out really nice. So right now we're just really letting it rip through all uh, three color sections especially this white, you just really want to pack that white on there heavy because I am using it to lighten up the gold. All right, so then we're going to tap off the excess and let this dry for about two to three hours. Um, and then once that's dry, I'm going to come back with this uh, clear gloss acrylic spray sealer and seal in my glitter. One generous coat of that spray sealer is plenty to seal to seal this glitter. All right, once that spray sealer has had a chance to dry, we're gonna go in for our first coat of epoxy. When I've got like a high contrast uh, coloring on a cup like this, I'm gonna start by epoxying the lighter sections first. So I'm just going to start spreading my epoxy on in the gold and white section. My glitter is pretty much sealed. It's not really moving around. But just to be on the safe side, I like to start in the lighter sections first. Because if I pull some of those lighter colors into the darker colors, it won't matter as much than if I start moving the epoxy up and down the cup and move some of that blue into the white. All right, and we're using a Lumalite Amazing Clear Cast Epoxy and a TS400 Propane Torch with camping fuel attached. I will have a link to this epoxy as well as a discount code down in the description box, so be sure to check that out. All right, we're gonna let our cup turn for about four to six hours, and then we can come back and start on our next coat to put the waves in. So I mixed up about 30 milliliters of epoxy. I probably won't use all of it for this cup, um, but you're gonna apply about 20 milliliters of epoxy to your cup. This is a 20 ounce traditional tumbler. You may need a little more, a little less, depending on the size cup you're using. You just, you don't want this layer of epoxy to be too much. Um, the more epoxy that you have on here, the more movement you're gonna get from your waves. 
So just keep that in mind. All right, after we've got our cup coated nicely with the epoxy, I'm just gonna torch it really quick for any bubbles. And then I'm gonna mix up my white epoxy dye in the remaining epoxy. You only need about five to 10 milliliters of epoxy, if that, to do the white waves. I think I just had like five milliliters set aside. Um, and then I let my cup turn for about 10 minutes or so before putting in the waves just because I personally don't like a lot of movement in this white epoxy dye once I put it on the cup so letting the cup sit for a while after that layer of epoxy has gone on will help kind of lessen some of the movement All right, so next we're gonna put in the waves with uh, my butter spreader stir stick thing. Uh, there's lots of tools and things you could use to put these waves in. This is just how I do it. And I really, for this kind of glitter beach, I don't like to put a lot of these waves in just cause I want to see all that pretty glitter. Um, but you can add as much or as little of the waves as you'd like. Um, and then you can even, you know, blow on the waves with some, with a straw or with some like canned computer cleaner air or whatever, and that'll help you get some movement out of those waves. Um, I don't put any heat on mine or anything. I just let them kind of move naturally and I don't have any rhyme or reason for how I put them in. Um, that's kind of the fun part to me. And once you put these waves on, they're just kind of kind of move and do their own thing naturally, which I think is really pretty. Once we're done with this, we're just going to let it turn. And after about eight or 10 hours, we'll be ready to put um, a decal on. All right, so my cup has dried for at least eight hours and I'm ready to start sanding. So I just clean up that rim really quick and then using an 80 grit sanding block, I just uh, sand around the rim at a 45 degree angle and remove a kind of a really thin line around the top of glitter and epoxy. And that's how I finish off my top rim. And then on the bottom rim, I just kind of sand those rough edges as much as I can, being careful not to sand down too much. Uh, we only have two layers of epoxy over that glitter, so you want to kind of be careful on how hard you sand down there at the bottom rim. I'm also going to come in with a 220 grit sander to kind of smooth out some of my sand lines. Also go around the sides of the cup and sand down any kind of rough edges or glitter poking through. If you feel too much glitter poking through, you do not want to sand yet. I would put on another coat of epoxy if you feel too much glitter poking through. But after two coats of epoxy, you should be okay to uh, glitter around or to sand around those edges. I'd also like to note that a lot of people like using electric sanders or belt sanders or whatever and that is all great whatever you prefer or is easiest for you i am just obsessed with block sanders i know it's not the easiest way to do things but it's what i'm most comfortable with
All right, so for this particular beach design, I prefer to use like a white or gold decal. I will link the design that I used below in the description box. If All you'd right, like so to after I've got one, this cut pretty really smoothed cute. out, I'm gonna go um, and, and take it in and wash it with some design soap there and water is and some get like it totally dry. Really tiny and then we'll letters. move on into so, putting the decal on. Um, for that part, I use my exacto knife and kind of kiss cut around those tiny letters. And when I go to transfer the decal, I'm gonna transfer that kiss cut section as a whole and put that all on the cup. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute, but that's gonna help me get those tiny letters transferred onto the cup. All right, so here you'll see me weeding out that kiss cut section that we transferred like as a whole. Um, so I could easily weed this section so that all those little tiny details um, were so much easier to transfer. So anytime I have these little tiny letters on a decal, I will try to transfer that whole section and then weed it while it's on the cup. Makes things a lot easier for me. All right, so after we got the decal applied, I just went ahead with our final layers of epoxy and we were done. So that's that for my glitter beach tutorial. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you loved it. Um, if you guys are loving our channel, make sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell button so you don't miss a new video. We do upload every Wednesday and Saturday. See you soon. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.